So minus one. Are you ready for a big fight with Legendary? I really hope I don't have to fight him. I mean, I don't want to fight by a fellow Gorgira. Well, Legendary brought this on himself and... HOLY CRAP! What? What's going on? Oh my god, are you seeing this, brother? Hell yeah, I'm seeing this! This... This is impossible! What? What's going on? Look at this! Godzilla X Kong The New Empire has won over $194 million in just a few days! HOLY CRAP! OH MY GOD! Not only that, get this. Godzilla X Kong has launched 2024's box office doubled. Not only that, but the MonsterVerse has made over two billion dollars! Holy... Oh my god! Is Legendary making a comeback? Is Legendary Goji making a comeback? I think he is. Hold on. Yeah, Legendary! Legendary Goji. Yeah, what do you want? Look at this! Oh yeah. Did you look at that? My franchise has officially gotten what hunt two billion dollars. How are you doing that, legendary? How are you Not only that, look at the box look at the budget for the movie. A hundred thirty dollars. Huh. That is actually less than all the other movies, because I think that's what 2014 cost, like, 150 or $60 million? And God's Little King of Monsters cost $170 million? And God's Little Versus Kong cost, like, 100 cost, like, over $2 million. Or for, for their budget. Beat that, minus one. Dude, I have a fifteen million dollar budget. You only have you I would say a fraction, but that's not even a fraction. You that's basically like a quarter of an inch of all the the money that you make made in your movie. Damn it. <clears throat> not only that, get this. Adam Wingard has confirmed confirmed he wants to make a sequel for Godzilla's Kong. He hints that the sequel, well, does well, well, the, the sequel will focus mostly on Godzilla. He, Adam Wingard says that the next movie he's planning will put more emphasis on Godzilla. He hints that this movie does well, the sequel will explore Godzilla's story in more depth, similar to how Kong is treated in, in the current film. The next movie will be the Godzilla version of what we did in this movie, kind of pushing deeper into his story. Holy crap, Monkey Boy gets to be the side character! God damn it! Damn you, Godzilla! Hey, without me, you can't beat Godzilla- Call- Wait, not. Without me, you can't beat Scar King and Shimo on your own! So suck it! Besides, you stole the majority of, or the, of Godzilla vs. Kong as the main character when you, when you and I both know that I should have been the main character, not you! So I don't want to hear it. It's my turn to get my own solo movie now. So you get to be the side character. Karma is a bitch. Hell yeah. About time, Legendary, you get the proper sequel to your move. So what does that mean, Godzilla X Kong sequel will technically be Godzilla 3? 
I don't know about that. I don't know if the fans would consider it that. But now you two have no reason to fight. Uh, yeah, we do. He stole the title of King of the Monsters. Who just gave me the title of King of the Monsters? Well, whatever. You still stole the title of King of the Monsters. And all right, enough! Enough! Both of you, enough! I can't take this anymore. Or, minus one, with all due respect. But, listen, I know your movie is basically a bit more cheaper than his movie when it comes to, to their budget. I understand that, and I highly respect you for that. <clears throat> and, without a doubt, your movie is the best of the Godzilla franchise. But, without Legendary Goji, there would no, there would not be a Godzilla Minus One. There would not be me. There would not be Ultima, or Earth Godzilla, or Snow Godzilla, or Shin. Godzilla... Legendary Goji did brought the franchise back from the dead with his current film. But that does not mean his movies have their own fair share of problems. Let's look at the, what the fans are saying about the whole complaint about they don't like the human characters, they only care about the monsters. Well, Godzilla's Kong, I don't know how it did it, but it somehow be literally became a... <clears throat> you alright? Yeah, I just got something stuck in my throat. Anyways. His movie, be his franchise, The Monsterverse, has won over two billion dollars. Two billion. Not only that, for what the fans are saying, this movie is possibly the best of the monsterverse. It's for what fans are saying, and we've been watching a lot of non spoiler reviews, by the way, just like what we did with his movie. It, the most Dark Hawks Calling the New Empire is possibly the best movie of the MonsterVerse. His movie we may not be the best Godzilla movie, but it is without a doubt the best MonsterVerse Godzilla movie. Think about it. You both are Godzillas. And you guys did well at the box office with your very own movies. My, this one. So far, for what we heard, You've won over $110 million worldwide, which, congratulations, but I will admit, that's nowhere near the amount of money that he won in, with his movie. But your, but your directors like each other's own movies. Adam Wingard likes on how dark and serious this your movie was, and Takashi Yamazaki like how fun and silly your movie was. Which, if we think about it, it's practically what the MonsterVerse is. It's like a remake of the Showa era. All the fun and goofy stuff. And if Minus One gets more movies, then his movies can be the darker version of the Showa era. Right. You two shouldn't really hate each other or fight each other. If anything, you should respect each other in your own ways. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, you're right. What was I thinking? Minus one, I am so sorry for that. I'm so sorry for everything. No, don't be. If anything, I should apologize. 
Nice to you, Legendary. Apologize? Why do you need to apologize to me? I was the one who challenged when she threw into a fight. Yeah, I know, but still. We shouldn't fight each other or hate each other because of our because of who's king of the monsters. What matters is the fans. They enjoy our movies. And who cares about what the critics say? They can say whatever the hell they want about our to our movies. They can say it's good or bad or bad or it's okay. I don't really care about what the critics say. As long as we make the fans happy, I'm okay with that. Same here. We shouldn't hate each other because of our differences. If anything, we should we should use our differences to make the fans happy. Be, and to have fun. And to get scared. That's the spirit, guys. I mean, plus, Final Wars, look up the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey too. Wait, seriously? There's a second Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movie? Not only that, for, for what I've heard, there's a Bambi horror movie coming up soon. A uh, Peter Pan horror movie, a freaking A Pinocchio horror movie and a third movie for Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. It has over a hundred Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, we got a new enemy. Yeah, we got a new enemy now. Let's kick their ass. Yeah, let's do it. Like, hell yeah, let's do it. Let's show those... Let's show that god-awful horror movie what we're made of. Yeah, let's do it. Now they can finally get along. Yeah. But where's Scorchera? 